highways, by lanes, off roads. We are embarking on the greatest drive of them all. Four different zones of the country, four overwhelming journeys, and all in one extraordinary SUV. It's me and my beast refined. Join me on the hot seat on Tata Safari Storm. Great drives. अगर दसादा आए और यहाँ के लोगों से नहीं मिले तो फिर क्या किया यार? I'm gonna get myself some breakfast and then we're heading to the village. Okay, we're just about entering the village. Looks very interesting, very small, narrow roads and very rustic. Feel obviously. So what am I doing in the middle of Gujarat? Well, I set out from Delhi a few days ago, got myself a fantastic set of wheels, and pointed the car in a vaguely western direction and just set off. I was off in search of a bit of fun, a bit of adventure. The point was to get a real experience of travelling through the country, and the road would be my guide. Very friendly people. I think everybody seems to be sleeping right now. So I've been told there's a lake around here somewhere. Let's try and look for that. Why is this tallab? Where are you going? Go to the left. Are you going to take me there? Sure. Come here. You know, one thing I've discovered over the course of my travels is that help is never hard to come by. And usually all you really need to do is ask. With a local navigator guiding me through the twisted winding roads, I finally managed to make my way to the lake. Which, by the way, seems like the hangout spot of the village. So, is this also in the village or is there something else? No, it's in the village. It's about 3 km from here. Okay, okay. Tell me quickly that there is a speciality in every village. So what is here? Here is an embroidery. It's an embroidery? Oh, wow. I've been working on it. Is it in the past? So you will take it? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. A short drive later, my trusty village guide had got me to the house of one of the village artisans. Here, here, here. Here, here. Come on. I'm Varun. I'm from Delhi. We are from Delhi. Yes. Are you Hindi? No, Gujarati. Hindi, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So, they told us that we were in Ambala town. So, they met us there. So, they told us that we know someone who knows who does embroidery here. Yes, they do. So, I said that we should meet them. Yes, we should meet them. So, now we are going to take a little bit here. So, now we are going to make something for us. Do you want to make something for us? We are going to make something for us. What will we make? We will make something for us. We will make something for us. So you have to do a courier then? No, you have to do a shirt. What do you want to do? Shirt, shirt. In the shirt, you don't have to do a shirt. So you will give them to us and we will do a courier then. Yes, that's right. Okay? Yes, that's right. Thank you. Thank you, Janat Bhai. Thank you, you have helped us a lot. Now, don't forget to watch you on TV, okay? I'll see you again. Thank you. So it was time to say goodbye to the good people of Dasada and Ambala and carry on with my journey.
We have just hit the desert, people, and I really don't know why this is called the Little Run of Kutch because there is clearly nothing little about it. I go off chasing a sunset, but this is no ordinary sunset, huh? This is a sunset over the Little Run of Kutch. The parched land greets me, and as I step up the talk on my Tata Safari Storm, I feel even more energized. I think to myself, this could very well be one of those scenes from a wild western movie. Yeah. The flying dust and the thought of the chasing sun. Oh man! Let's kick in the 4x4 and unleash the storm. Come on! Now for all the times in life that we're expected to stay on the right path and get the job done, Every now and then, you get a chance to wander off the beaten path, get a little dirty, and kick up a storm. So, if you find yourself in the middle of the desert and you've got a thoroughbred SUV with four-wheel drive, then, buddy, I recommend you treat yourself to a much-deserved dose of adrenaline therapy. You know, there are certain moments in life which you just don't forget. There's like a constant picture of them at the back of your head somewhere. This right here is definitely going to be one of those moments for me. I mean, sunset at the little run of Kutch. Doesn't get better than this, people. <laughs>